Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Lockers here and today I want to talk to you about the New World Outpost Rush. So what is it? It's a PvP vs E battle which you and up to five of your allies can fight together with others. You'll need to strategically plan your battle so whether you're going to be farming resources, whether you're going to be building up the outpost or whether you're going to be attacking and sieging the enemy outposts. Now then, it's a PvP, so it's obviously going to be player versus player, 20 versus 20 of course, but then you've got the E element, where you're going to have to go and fight different objectives around the map. Now, there's three objectives that we know of. There's a Baroness Hain, there's the Corrupted Portal, and there's a Summoning Circle. Now, the Baroness Hain, once you slay that, it's going to be a big boss, it's going to need your whole team, you can't just do it by yourself of course, it's going to be like a dungeon type battle. And when you slay it, you're going to be able to freeze the enemy's score. Therefore, they're not going to get as many points to upgrade their outpost and you can siege it much quicker. Then you've got the Corrupted Portal, which you're going to need to collect Azarf Essence from slaying enemies and gathering it from the island. And you can make a, a sacrifice to the portal and it'll give you buffs, which will just make you stronger than the enemies, really. So, that, I can't wait for that. And there's a the Summoning Portal, which you and your allies can summon big monsters like animals to defend your outpost to make it a lot harder to be sieged from the enemies. Now with all these objectives there are many ways to win the outpost rush. You can gather resources to build up stronger, make your outpost stronger, they're harder to attack. You can siege the enemy's outpost and then they've got nothing to defend so they've lost the battle. Or you can take over the world bosses and control the enemies through that. If you've got all three of them then you're going to have so much of an advantage against the enemies and you just could be unstoppable really. Now say you've won, which I'm sure is quite likely. The bigger you win by, the more uh, rewards and resources you're going to receive. So if you want to absolutely smash the opponents into the ground, absolutely just keep smacking them, then you're going to get massive resources for it and rewards. So I recommend if you're going to do it, you do it hard and you really go for this. Now guys, I really like the look of what they've done to the Outpost Brush. It looks fantastic and I cannot wait to get my teeth stuck into this mode. Like, me and my allies, I'm sure, will be sweating this out. And we all love a PvP battle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind up my levels, get to level 60 and then get straight into this Outpost mode. Because it looks incredible. Now then, how can you participate? So each team will start their own fort on opposite sides of the map. Between the two forts, you'll find three outposts, Luna, Sol, and Astra. Now, each post can be captured by standing inside his capture point. So you can see in the video, there's like a big tower. That's the capture point. You stand inside there, and you hold it for a while, and you'll capture the point eventually. So you then gain points of holding each outpost and killing enemy players. So how the point system will work is the outpost grant one point every three seconds, and every PvP kills are worth one point. And it's the first, so to win it, the first team to reach a thousand points wins. With the rules of engagement are straightforward, there are several components to each outpost rush match. So you have the multiple ways to score victory. You can either gather resources, so wood or hides, as or pheasants. Or you can capture each outpost, so if you're controlling all three of them, you're going to earn three points a second, whereas, uh, sorry, three points every three seconds, whereas the other team aren't going to earn any points unless they're killing you. Now with these resources, you can reinforce your outposts. So you need to grab as much as you can find because you want to make sure you can defend against any sieges, of course. And in each outpost, there'll be the following structures. So you've got the armory, where you can spend your battle tokens earned in the match. So you can get ammo, potions, items to help you in defense and offense, and then strong food buffs. Then there's also the storage sheds. So this is where you like share your materials and your Azov with the team. So anything you've gained, you just chuck into the storage shed. And then once you've got enough resources, say say you've got enough Azov, you can go straight to the um, Corrupted Portal and just get the buff from it, because why wouldn't you? So the reason you put it in the storage shed, if you get taken down in the PvP element of it, they can steal your re the enemy team can steal the resources from you. So make sure as soon as you've got something, put it in the storage shed so you don't lose it. Because it would be a shame if the enemy just came along and stole your resources that you've just been grinding out for. So the way you can reinforce your outpost is there's gates, which can be upgraded twice, becoming stronger each time. So that's going to be your front, your front line, basically. 
So make sure you upgrade that so they can't just run in there. You've got the protection wards which can prevent any type of outpost capture and it can provide a respawn location for the team that owns the outpost. So say you've got an outpost, you go die in the PvP world, you don't want to restart straight back. At the starting point you can restart back into your outpost. You can make different types of siege weapons. So, so as we've seen in the video, you can make cannons to destroy the gate so you can siege in. Now, because this is max level only, I do kind of want to see something for like the lower level players, so just so we can get a feel for the game. Because if this is max level, this is going to be high-end teams fighting each other, especially at first. So what I want to see personally is a little, like a mini sort of PvP battle, maybe 10 versus 10. Just so we can get a feel for how it's going to happen in when we get to the actual fights. I think also similarly to like the Division, the Tom Clarency game. They could have a little area that's sectioned off of PvP. Just so we can get another feel for the PvP side of it. Because at the minute, I can't really see how they're implementing as much PvP as they want to. But there we have it guys. That's my first initial thoughts on Outpost Rush in New World. I cannot wait to get involved in this. This looks awesome. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.